Great Friday morning, you all. How are you all doing? Happy Friday. This is your girl, Shan. I hope and pray all is well. Like I say, every day with each and every one of you, it's a Friday. <laughs> We're heading into the weekend unless, you know, you work weekends or whatever the case may be. But I'm going to go ahead and get into today's topic for the sake of time. You know, I'm a respecter of time. I'm a keeper of time. And so today's topic is it's okay to love congratulate and speak life into your husband or wife. It's okay. I know y'all sit up here and say, Shan, you really going to do a whole video on this. Yes, I am. And let me tell you why. Because we get so busy in life. Y'all see I'm swan diving right up into it. Hey, Dalisha, we get so busy in life that the things that we used to do when we first start dating, we don't do anymore. And I'm not trying to call anybody out. Hey, Natasha, I ain't trying to call anybody out. I'm not trying to get anybody to argue in. Hey, Sister Lolo, you know I just speak to make you think, right? That's all I do. I ain't getting nobody's business or whatever the case may be. But it, it gets me. It Oh, God, I want to say so much. This is some things that, of course, I don't understand. How can you be in a marriage and you show no affection to each other? How can you be in a marriage and there is no love? Good morning, Tasha. How can you be in a marriage and there is like no emotion between the two of you? Now, good morning, Heather. One may say, okay, y'all just roommates up in there is what you are. When are we going to get back to the point to where we plug back in with our husband and wife? And I ain't talking about it in a sexual way, okay? I'm talking about emotionally. I'm talking about that support, that love. We do not realize how much the world teaches us not to show love, support, and be there for our spouse. Do you know how many conversations I've had with fellow wives who have said, well, my husband, yeah, he'll put on social media that he loved me, he cared for me, and, you know, he thankful that I'm the mother of his children and I'm his wife, but he never tell me that in person. And I'm like, what? <laughs> I'm like, like, I'm being shocked. Like, are you serious? So basically what we doing is we doing this new age stuff. And these ain't people who just been married for like two years. I'm but these people have been in the game for many. So what we doing is this new age stuff and we showing out for people. We, we like it when people come in and say, oh, that's so sweet. Oh, you know, but you not even showing your spouse at the house. And this can go both ways. You know what I'm saying? Women, ladies, sisters, don't be so quick to be putting out on social media. Oh, this is my man and he hold it down and all this stuff in hopes that he would go to social media and read that. But behind closed doors in your own house, you can't even tell your husband how good of a man he is. You can't tell him, I love you. How many of you all, when is the last time you've held your spouse, your husband or your wife's hand in public? When is the last time besides just the general on the phone or you know, like when my husband leave in the morning, I give him a kiss. I tell him I love him. I tell him to have a good day, you know, and things like that. When was the last time you did that besides doing it out of routine where you've actually, good morning, Timothy, where you've actually, you know, maybe it's date nights. Maybe, you know, you and your honey's going away on a trip or whatever. Maybe it's just you all are in your bedroom and you are doing check-ins. I encourage you to do check-ins, okay? I'm going to talk about that hopefully if I remember in a minute. But when's the last time you just said, you know what, baby, I love you? This is something that bothers me that I see so often in marriages as well. And I set up and I ask myself, I wonder if, how we would feel if God did that to us. If God just, he, he, he recognized that we his child, but he don't really say anything until it benefits him. Do you know how many husbands and wives you Cannot say to your husband or your wife how proud of you of them you are or, or none of that kind of stuff. But soon as they get awarded something on their job, soon as they get promoted in rank um, in the military, soon as they get recognized, good morning, Simone, in the church as being an awesome leader or whatever the acknowledgement is, then that's when you show up with your chest stuck out and you all proud and you telling everybody, this is my spouse. Have you ever had a situation where you may go to your husband or your wife's job and they're like, oh, Simone, oh, that. Oh, 
you must be so and so's wife. And you're like, yeah, I've heard so many outstanding things about you, how you support your husband. I'm not trying to say, you know, this how I get down is, you know, in their marriage, but how you support your husband, you're there for your husband. That, it is such a pleasure to meet you. And you sitting up here with a face trying to keep a straight face because you don't want to tell on your spouse like, Oh, these are the good things that you say to me when you at work or when you in front of your friends or the fellow church members. You want to be looking like, really? This is what you do. You brag to everybody else how proud of me you are, but you don't tell. But you don't. You sit there and say, yes, hello. It's a pleasure to meet you. Oh, thank you so much for your kind words. I truly appreciate it. And then by the time you get home, you, it's probably going to be World War Three. Like, how can you go out and tell your co-workers? How can you go out and tell the people, good morning, Aisha, at the church? How can you, good morning, let's go and tell everybody else and brag on me. But it's hard for you to say to me face to face how much you appreciate me. Now, I will add this. It is wise to know which way your husband or your wife like to be, like to receive accolades and appreciation and things like that. It is wise because the way that, you know, some women, they love to get roses and all this other kind of stuff. I'm not that type of chick. I'm not knocking it. You know what I'm saying? Some women like to get a nice fancy piece of jewelry or whatever the case may be. You know, I ain't that type of chick, but I'm not knocking it. So what I'm saying is we as husbands and wives like to get recognition and accolades different types of ways. Some of you all grew up in a household. To where your mom and your dad never told you that they were proud of you. But, good morning, Cammie, when you go out to different places, they brag into the family. You know, you got your little family reunion and stuff. Oh, yeah, this is my this is my daughter, Shan. She a straight-A student. Mm-hmm. She in this. She a cheerleader down at the school. They doing all this. I'm so proud of her. And you looking like, really? Like, you ain't never told me that in my life. And you got that in your childhood and it probably irritated you. And you see that same pattern in your marriage now to where are you guilty? Let me talk. Let me talk to, let me holler at you. Are you guilty as that type of husband or wife that you don't say anything good about your husband or wife until it benefits you and it makes you look good? So you can get some of the glory. Are you guilty? Like I said, I ain't trying to come in nobody's household. Are you guilty? Are you that one? Somebody sitting up right now and saying, dang, Shan, that's me. Just what you said, that is so me. Let me encourage you, my brother, sister, learn how to turn that around. Because see, the word of God says, and y'all heard me and my husband say this all the time on our radio show, and I say it on here, that we are no longer two, but we are one flesh. We need to operate and work as one. You see what I'm saying? My husband don't have to be the type of person that he put anything on social media, because if you old school like me, what was husbands and wives doing before social media was created? Now, I must add, I must add, it is amazing when I do read on social media where you have this wife that say, hey, you know, the man of my dreams, that I, you got this husband, especially husbands. Oh my God. Like I could call out one right now, but I won't. But especially husbands, it is so beautiful to see a husband talk about how proud that he is of his wife and how much he love his wife and his queen and all that. I do ask, you know, from time to time, like, do you do that at the house? Like, do she know that? Like, has she verbally heard you say that out of your mouth? You know what I'm saying? It's okay to be your spouse's cheerleader up in her, but it needs to work both ways because it, I think, let me keep it real on this Friday. It is really sorry. When you have the just one, either the husband or the wife, who is always pouring into and sowing into and building up that spouse that they are married to, but the other one won't reciprocate it. And then, you know what? I've been doing this, Kenya. Well, what's wrong with you, Shan? You usually tell me how proud you are of me. You usually tell me how, you know, I'm a good husband, this and the other. You ain't been doing it lately. Well, brother, when is the last time you did it? Okay? I know y'all done had these... Um, Little heated discussions. I'm going to say it like that. I want to call it. Or When is the last time you did it? When is the last time you told me that you are proud of me? The only time I hear you say that you are proud of me is when you telling everybody else, but you act like you can't tell me, but you sure can't sleep with me, but you can't tell me how proud of me you are, whatever the case may be. Baby, ask Mr. King. 
I'm not telling y'all something that I haven't done. I remember when we was dating and that joker was playing flag football. Some of y'all in the military know about flag football. Baby, I got ejected from the game. <coughs> I did because I was cheering and they was playing dirty and I was yelling and all that. And guess what? When they ejected me from the game and the coach, <laughs> we was on the other side of the fence still talking trash. And you know what I'm saying? Because guess what? You my baby. I'm going to hold you down. You know what I'm saying? I got you. And not only am I going to be that type of spouse and there's too many that's out there like this. That's why I'm talking about this today. Not only am I going to be that type of spouse where baby, I'm in the trenches with you. What? You trying to reach a goal? Okay, what do we got to do to get this thing done? And not only I, am I in the trenches digging, but I'm praying for you. I'm covering you in prayer. How many of y'all pray for your spouses on a daily basis? How many of you all say, you know what, God? I pray that they have a blessed day. You know, God, light their path on today. Let them be a blessing to somebody. Dear God, cover them from all hurt, harm, and danger. You know what I'm saying? How many of y'all actually do that? Good morning, Phoenix. How many of y'all do that? It's probably not too many to do that. But see, this is the problem with husbands and wives and where the issues come in. You can't be one if all you trying to do in the marriage is receiving, you never trying to give. And then, and then when your spouse is tired of doing all the giving, then they got an attitude. Something is wrong with them. Why you acting stank? Why did you change? You know what I'm saying? Are you a spoiled little child <laughs> that your mama, your daddy always told you, oh, I'm proud of you. Oh, you good. And you need just that little cheerleader in your corner, but you can't reciprocate the same thing to your spouse. The two of you you are one. You see what I'm saying? The two of you are one. So how do you not do that? It is okay, despite of what this world tells you, to love on your spouse. When you all are out in public to hold hands, you see what I'm saying? That's what I love about my husband, baby. When we be out in public, because you know he's that man that I'm not walking close to the street. You know what I'm saying? Because he quick to say, but his little country self, uh-uh, baby, get over here. Get over here. And I, I do it. I get on the other side being that submissive wife because he's trying to protect me, not control me. Know the difference, ladies, okay? And so when we walking and we holding hands, you would think my husband is on, uh, what was that, the military, the roll guard. So he was on guard duty because he be looking. He be alert. Okay, baby, walk over here. Okay, baby, step over here. Why? Because if anything go down, that man going to step out front and he going to protect me first. How many of y'all men say that y'all do that for y'all's wives? Heck, you probably let your wife walk in the middle of the street. I'm just saying. We can't become one and operate as one if we're not even willing to protect each other, show love to each other. If we're not willing to cover each other in prayer, that's not walking in one. What you're doing is you got a cheerleader in your corner when you can't reciprocate the same thing, when you can't tell your honey out your mouth. You was doing that when you was courting them, so what changed? Oh, I don't have to do that now because we've been married for 27 years, so they know how I feel Ooh, Shane, calm your tongue. Ooh, I, ooh, I can't say what I want to say because it's it's a little too direct. I'ma say it like that. Mm, mm, that that's a hot mess. That's what I'ma say. That's ooh, God, thank you for the words. Thank you for the words. Cause the words of about that is a hot mess when you set up here and say some stuff like that. So learn how to honor your husband and your wife. Learn how to set them down and check in with them. Check in with your spouse. Once a month, husbands and wives, y'all need to check in with each other. Because to me, this is the worst thing that you can do when you marry. Your spouse, y'all sit down and y'all check in. Baby, hey, I just want to check in with you. I just want to know, how am I doing as your wife? Is it anything that you see that I can do better? Me and my husband do this from time to time. Is it anything that you see? Okay, he'll, okay, he'll ask me, well, baby, you know, as your husband, what do you feel I can do better? What is it that you don't like that I do? And see, let me tell you something about this. When you ask these type of questions to your husband or your wife, this is on some grown folk conversation. Not no little pity petty. Well... Since you brought it up, I've been holding this in for a whole year. I can't stand what you do. No, because that's going to lead to a fight and an argument. That's why I said learn how to communicate with your spouse maturely. Check in with them. And what they say in response, especially if it's coming from a good place, especially if they start up and say, baby, I don't mean to hurt your feelings or anything, but... I don't like when you do. And so my husband has told me, baby, I don't like when you do this. You know, and I'm like, 
Ooh, I do do that. Baby, I didn't know that was a problem with you. I'm so sorry. I apologize. I won't do it again. You know what I'm saying? And it's dropped. But when you don't check in with each other, what happens? As soon as the little nitpicky stuff happens, the small things, you know, that the old folks tell us in our marriage, don't worry about the small things, baby. Save your energy for the big things. You know what I'm saying? That's something small. You let the small things boil up and the temperature's rising and the temperature's rising. And baby, as soon as it hits just right, it's 150 degrees and then boom, all this stuff that came out, you done cut your husband or wife down with your mouth. You done belittled them and you done did all these things and you feel good because you verbally vomited. You see what I'm saying? Good morning, Shirley. You did good because you verbally vomited, but you hurt them to their core. So let's avoid that by doing some check-ins. Maybe, you know, my husband may ask me and I may say, baby, look, it gets me when I come up to your job and everybody's telling me, oh yeah, that, you know, you bragging to them. My wife did this. She put together the vacation. My wife was the one that did, but you can never tell me, baby, thank you so much for the time and the effort that you did in putting this family trip together. Or, you know, I may tell, cause I tell my husband all the time, let me tell you, you can ask this man and I know he tired of hearing it, but he gonna hear it for the rest of his days. I tell that brother so much cause I'm a numbers person, baby. Thank you so much for serving our country. And I know y'all set up like, Shane, really you serve too. No, no, no. Thank you for serving and thank you for retiring. Because the way, good morning, Jamie, but because the way this TRICARE and this insurance is set up, I thank you that we only have to pay $20, $25, $30 on a deductible. I thank you for this free medicine that we get. You know what I'm saying? So those are the things that thank you for serving our country that we don't have to go through. Hey, Jose and Vivi, that we don't have to go through some of the things that these other people are going through because you sacrificed and you served our country. For that, I thank you. You know what I'm saying? And I, I promise you, I tell my husband, that. But I do tell them I love them and things like that. So I know I'm going kind of all over the place. It's okay, husbands and wives, to speak life into your husband. It is, it's okay to speak life into your wife. It's okay to tell them how beautiful they are. That's some of the things that I love about my husband. I done birthed out full of his children. You hear me? And when you know women, sometimes we be feeling some kind of way like, oh, I feel kind of flabby. And you looking back on pictures of how your body used to be banging and tight and right. And then you look at it now and you know, you be feeling, I can't put that little cute outfit on like I used to anymore because it be bulging in places. You know what I'm saying? And my husband would tell me, baby, you are still beautiful. You are still beautiful as you was when I first met. And he says that from the heart, not this little fictitious stuff. Cause what's happening in the world today is we are so busy faking. We don't, we living in fake reality. We don't understand instead of shutting off the fake stuff and plugging in. I encourage you, in order to be one with your husband or your wife, you got to plug in with them. How often do you all plug in? How often do you all date? I'm going to always throw that out there. You can go to breakfast once a week, just that quiet time with no electronics. Y'all heard me? No electronics. Put them down. Lay, in, lay on the beach, in the beach chairs. Don't have your phone on one hand being tied to social media, but the other hand, while I'm holding your hand, like she had say, no, put it down. Engage in some thoughtful conversation. You may learn something about your spouse that as they grow and mature and you grow and mature, things that I used to like this when we got, first got together and was dating 20 years ago, but I don't like that anymore. I'm on that grown woman. So this is what I like. So you don't have to entice me with roses that's going to die in a week, baby. Let's go ahead and put that 250 something dollars in, you know what I'm saying? A Roth IRA account. Let's go ahead and See how we're going to start this next business or venture together. How we're going to do, how we're going to build together going forward. So despite what people say who are not in a relationship, despite how people try to clown and tell you, oh, yeah, oh, you soft, man. You soft. You sit and pretending your wife, man. And she did, oh, man, I remember back in the day, you used to be a hard. You a punk now. You married that woman and you a punk. You know what I'm saying? I got a smart mouth. I've been to turn around talking about where your wife at though. You know, I, a little pity like that. Just a bit, the pettiness is still on my shoulder. But I'm just saying, it's okay. Despite what the world say, because I believe in my heart, when God allows you to become husband and wife, you get beyond that immature stage where you recognize that you're one and you're moving as one and you're moving as a unit. 
You, God, is allowing to be an example for somebody else. Not were you in this fake reality. Were you faking it until you make it and all this old corny, I hate that term, but no, we ain't faking it. We're going to put in this work. We're going to do what we got to do, and we're going to be that couple because what's on the inside if it's really love, you building up, you moving together, it's going to manifest itself on the outside. But when you faking on the inside, it's only going to last for so long until that fakery become a reality and people see that y'all was faking y'all marriage the whole time. So get back to the basics and plug into each other. It's okay to love your spouse. It's okay to cheer, be your big, your spouse's biggest cheerleader in the home, in the home and outside of the home. And it's okay to cover your spouse in prayer. It's okay to lift your spouse up before God. It's okay to pray with your spouse. You know what I'm saying? And be on one accord and not just when you bless your food or when you're holding hands in church. What are you doing behind closed doors? It's more important of what you do to build behind closed doors than what you fake to show to the world outside those doors, okay? Because I don't know about y'all, thank God for the spirit of discernment. I thank God that he blessed me with that gift because when people fake and I just be looking at them like, Lord, be, be a fence, God. Bless them. Show them to operate in reality. And I guess that's because to me, that's worse than lying. When you faking like your marriage is good, but you're not willing to put in the work. You speak to others with your mouth talking about, oh yeah, my husband and my wife, you're not telling them in the home and you're not putting in the work. To me, when people fake like that, and especially when God allowed me to see that, even though I never speak on it like I know it, you're no worse than a person that lies and steals. Okay, because you're putting on a show for the world and the world don't give a John Brown about you, your marriage or your family. God does, but the world doesn't. So plug back in. Be that cheerleader. Tell your honey that you love them, how proud you are of them. Thank you for being the mother, the father of your children. Thank you for walking this thing called marriage with me, even though I know I may have not been the easiest person. Thank you for covering me in prayer and praying that I make it out safely and make it back to this house, to my beautiful family, because a lot of people don't make it back home. A lot of people die in accidents. You see what I'm saying? So, Y'all have a blessed weekend. I said a mouthful on this morning, but I hope that it hits home and that it blesses your marriage even the more. You know what I'm saying? So your marriage will manifest to the next level. That's all me and my husband try to do. We don't try to call nobody out. We don't try to shade nobody. We just want to give you insight so you will check yourself to say, dang, am I doing this? Am I really being offensive or am I really being the best husband or wife that I could be the way that God designs for it to be? That's all we, that's all we saying. We want to see marriages grow and prosper to the next level. How about you? See, have a blessed day. Don't let anybody steal your joy. Be a blessing today and not a curse for well, a blessed weekend, a relaxing weekend. Plug in with your honey. Steal away some time, just the two of you, and plug in with no electronics and see if this works. Try it for a month. Look, like they say uh, when you see them little commercials, try it for a free trial of 30 days, and if it don't work, send it back. Just try it for a month and see how it work out for y'all. And your girl, she ain't going to be back with y'all Monday with whatever it is God placed in my heart. So God bless you and blessings to you.